Yo! What's going on guys? Love After Lockup. I think this is the last one of this entire episode. I'm seeing uh, Niagara Falls. I hope there's some drowning. But before we hop into this, if you want to help support this channel, check out down below. There's everything. Just everything I would tell you is d down there, okay? Let's go baby! that at Sarah's funeral, they just show that when she gets knocked off, it's like, yeah, she's dead. Now the next time we do something, we should do like paintballing. I wanna shoot you with paintballs. Where's an actual bulletproof vest brings a Glock? Story time really quick. I went paintballing once, okay? Super fun, super great. I love, I love shooting kids in the face. It's a great time. Uh, I didn't wear a cup and I got shot about a centimeter away from my cock. Which is really, really impressive because it's so small down there that a centimeter away was really fucking close. <laughs> I feel like a teenager in love. Babe, like this is the first time we're going somewhere like sit down dinner. Are um, you excited? Yeah, yeah, I am. Hey babe, are you excited to go for dinner? Ah, oh, hell yeah, food! Bitch, he is skinny, okay? You gotta ask me that shit. And since Michael didn't propose today at the falls, maybe like later on tonight, He'll propose then. Oh, he didn't propose yet? Maybe he will take my bathroom suggestion. I feel like this is just the first of many awesome dates that we're gonna have. Absolutely fucking silent. You think he has red receipts on? Just totally not giving a fuck. Sarah just texted me and told me that my PO was looking for me. I stayed out past my curfew. Does that surprise you? You think your PO's gonna be like, oh, he's just out probably uh, killing people? I don't know. With Meg, which, you know, I knew was a risk in the beginning. Meg. What? Mm, come here. That was a look of sadness. That's the face you make after you check your debit card balance after going out for the weekend. I need to get bit. For my PO popped up. Are you being serious? Dead ass. Nope, gotcha. Let's go out for dinner. I, I gotta go deal with that. Hey, no. All right. I'm not sure if my PO really trying to contact me or not, but I really don't want to take no chances because she could be telling the truth. I mean, I gotta go back to, to the house with Sarah and call my PO and make sure everything all right. I I'm so excited! I think we have the next episode already. I, I think so. Could be totally wrong. I don't watch it before we go into it, so it might be. And I hope it is. No. Wait, what if they like sing back? She want me to do like going on a run or something? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm not going on a run off no violation. <laughs> You can't fucking run anywhere. What are you talking about? When was the last time you ran? When was the last time you moved at a faster pace than a relaxed walk? Let you know how I go, as soon as I go see him. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that he had cleared all of this with his probation officer. I mean, he planned a whole trip, so I just assumed, like, he had gotten the okay. Oh. Oh. See, that's your problem right there. Assuming with a convict. You should probably always assume the worst with all of them. And I don't think I've seen one gripe yet in the comment section like, hey man, I'm a convict, you're totally wrong. <laughs> Do they have YouTube accounts? I don't know how that works. Okay. Oh, okay, wow, thumbnail, ugly crier, hello. Anybody else thinking that they would just leave her? Like, yeah, she's crying because she wants to spend time with you, but that's fucking annoying. I can come back, I will, all right? <laughs> she, she, you look like you're kissing Jay Z. Right. Right. Stop crying, it's gonna be alright. You don't even know what's gonna happen yet. You stop crying, you dumb bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. He's serious. I think he's getting pissed. He's probably like, man, I kinda wanna fuck my homie now. Oh, stop. So stop. You have nothing to cry about yet. Just wait till you find out what I've done to you. <laughs> Man. 
I mean, it, it break my heart that she in there hurt. If I was Sam, just leaving that room and just hearing the crying fade away would just relieve my anxiety. I would probably jerk off to the silence. You know, I ain't that I gotta leave, but I really wanna stay. And uh, it's just a messed up situation. Could you imagine like saying that to a camera? Like, man, it, it hurts me that she's hurt, even though I've been cheating on another bitch with her. I don't think he'll be able to talk to me at all. <laughs> I don't know if he can like take his phone and just, Oh, that's awesome. She is setting him up perfectly for him to cheat on her. He's so lucky. All he's got to be like is, yeah, everything you said at the end of that episode was correct. I can't do any of that. Sorry, I'll see you when I'm done getting pussy. Girl, chill out, man. For real, huh? <laughs> what? Hey, yeah, chill the fuck. What? Really? Come on. Come on. Wasn't that bad. You know, remember that one time I took a little bit longer than Jewel? Same, same shit. <laughs> Everything Man, I feel so bad that she's crying in there, calls another woman the second he's on the pavement. Incredible. Love him. Anyone else just hoping they have a daughter into this world of shitty men? Awesome. If I have a daughter and the guy's like, yeah, I was, uh, I talked to the police once. Get the fuck out of my house, dog. I've, I've seen Love After Lockup, right? This is not turning out well. Dr. Phil says, what did that old bitch say in the last episode? Old behavior's gonna be new behavior. Past behavior's future behavior. That's good. It would be right if Dr. Phil didn't fucking say it. That stupid bald cunt. Bald people are so ugly. Let's recap really quick. Uh, can't wait to see her actually cry from pain. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Smack that face to subscribe if you haven't already. Two goddamn videos right over there, and you kiss me right on the face. Mwah!